Hi Cancer, how's it going? So this is going to be your future partner spread for March, so let's get right into it. Cancer's future partner, March. Okay, and like I always say, you know, this is for those that want to meet someone and are doing something for it. Okay, or it could be your current partner now, you know, I've been getting different feedback. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull a few cards, quite a few cards, okay, and then I'm gonna go over them all at once. So I hope you're having a great month. I just got back, obviously, you could, you know, the background um, <laughs> is very different. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, everything is fine. <coughs> I'm just trying to adapt, you know, to the time difference, to the language. Okay, because three months is definitely, I should say, a long time, you know, to be away. Okay, so, Pisces got the same thing, kind of, with the uh, Two of Cups here. You know, Two of Cups to me is more like a twin flame union rather than um, a soulmate or anything like that. However, uh, I did get a couple cards also indicating something very deep, some kind of a deep connection between you two, and this is Six of Cups and Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is something that you were predestined to experience from, you know, the day you were born. And Six of Cups talks about past life, you know, or your past, uh, somebody coming back. This is also a card of a soulmate union, indication that uh, th there's definitely a deep connection on a very deep level, you know, with this person. So I do believe that whoever this is to you, soulmate, karmic, twin flame, whatever, this is somebody that that was meant to come into your life okay and this is somebody that will definitely um, change your life in a certain way okay this is going to be a very important partnership not everybody gets this okay not everybody gets this um, this combination now um, <clears throat> I do believe that this person has been through some kind of transformation in their life, some kind of endings, okay? It could be something simple as them quitting a job, you know, moving out of the city. However, it could be, you know, ex them experiencing something more major than that, okay? Definitely, definitely some kind of transformation. It could also indicate that they are Scorpio, okay? This is somebody that either had some kind of major changes happen to them, or they initiated those changes in their life, okay? And I have another card of completion, which is the world. I do believe that some kind of major cycle in their life just ended, okay? And they're ready to start out fresh and new. With the world here as well, I do believe that they live at a distance, okay, from you. This could be you talking to them online, you know, World Wide Web. Uh, this could be you traveling to see them or them traveling to see you. But I do believe that, um, this is just indicating that they live either overseas or in a different city from you, different, you know, region, state from you and stuff like that. So the only way to connect with them is through either, you know, internet or texts or calls or something like that. Now, this person is juggling a lot. Uh, this could be juggling two people, two situations, you know, work, whatever this is in their life. Definitely a juggler. And uh, with the hermit here, I do believe that this person is either, you know, they love to be alone or they live alone. They, they live by themselves, okay? They're not surrounded by that many people. They may not be very sociable, okay? They are somebody that is very spiritual, somebody very wise, and they just prefer solitude over anything, really. So, you know, sometimes it is a good thing. Now, they're very, they're going to be very passionate towards you with Ace of Wands here, and uh, be careful for this union to start out very, very quickly, you know, because Ace of Wands is an amazing new beginning, a passionate new beginning, beginning uh, new projects, you know, passionate projects that you would be working on. However, it's also Wands, and if we don't forget, Wands are very fast energy. It's the fastest, basically. So it is a new beginning, but it could be over just as fast as it would begin, okay? So this is uh, indicating a lot of passion between you two. However, just watch out for it, you know, because it could subside. Uh, so you got to make sure you keep it going. Now, with Nine of Wands and Eight of Swords, I feel like these two are indicating walls around them. So the, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, you know, the person is uh, in uh, like a jail or anything like that, but they're definitely stuck at this point, okay? So there is something where they can't really get through. Um, 
there is something, some kind of circumstances that are stopping them, and this is where all the juggling comes through. Okay, this person could literally be um, stuck in uh, a country, you know, stuck in their job, uh, stuck in a marriage, I, which I don't really see that they're married, you know, but there is definitely something that's holding them back. Okay, what else can I say here? Nothing. Okay, so you would meet them online. Now, please give me more information on this future partner. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, this person, for some reason, they're investing something, okay? They're investing a lot into um, a project right now or investing a lot into maybe meeting you or something like that. This is investing a lot of your time, energy, money into a project and being a little bit frustrated with how long you have to wait for it. I do believe that this is going to be a long process for you too. He or she are stuck in, in some kind of circumstances. With the hanged man, there is stagnation mode. So I do believe it's saying that if you really want to be with this person, you might want to wait just a little bit longer, okay? I don't think you're going to get with them in March, okay? This is going to take a little bit longer than that because the person is going through something. Now, with judgment here, which is karma in this deck, I do believe that this person is going to transform your life in some way, okay? Judgment is what? A wake-up call, you know, a decision being made, uh, making the right judgment or the wrong judgment, okay? So I do believe this person is definitely going to give you some kind of wake-up call. And with Three of Cups, you know, I do believe that it's going to be starting from friends, you know, and it actually turning into a relationship. There's lots of passion between you two. But I feel like the circumstances are not going to quite let you, you know, be together uh, right away. Now, the person has dark hair, okay? I can't really tell you if they're uh, financially stable, for example, or not. I definitely see them working on something. But did that, give, get, did that uh, give them fruits of their labor yet? No, not yet, okay? They're still waiting. They're... There's still something that they're working on. And I apologize, my cat is in the litter box. Um, so, you know, the noise, just ignore the noise. Now, as for letters in their first, last, or middle name, oh yeah, and uh, what what do I see here? I see Scorpio, okay? I see Scorpio, however, it could be any sign. I honestly did not get that many signs here. A Scorpio or Virgo, okay? Now, as for letters in their first, last, or middle name, I got a letter M as Michael. Um, I got her a le letter S, okay, as Sarah, H, and N as Nick. Wait a second, do I have T? T as well, okay, Tom. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll see you for my general spreads and my uh, love spreads for uh, March next week. Thank you, bye-bye.